Hi, this is Danny Doyle, and welcome back to my Fire Emblem Vision Quest 0% Growths playthrough. And today we have another boat map. Uh, and there are a boatload of side objectives here, if you don't mind my saying so. There is a droppable Sky Piercer, which is the upgraded longbow. There is a droppable Sleep Staff around here. Yeah, here. There is a stealable physic and speed wing on the same unit. There is a stealable red gem here. Here is a stealable red gem. Um, there's another stealable, the earth seal over here. Uh, so there's quite a lot of side objectives to be done here. Um, and well, Without any further ado, I am going to go ahead and do preps and then jump into it. As you may have guessed from the length of the video, we are one-turning this bitch. That does mean that we abandon the speed wings and a couple of other side objectives, the sleep staff, um, but I think we can make do without them. I am going to steal the earth seal. It's not the most valuable thing on the map, but it's the only one that I can realistically reach on turn one. So I set up a little shove train. Then Naya uses the Zanbato to one round the Sky Piercer guy uh, in order to get us another 2 3 range weapon. Uh, Lazarus might be on the bench for now, but the power of 2 3 range lives on, and we will be getting another couple of bow users coming up soon as well. Now it's time for another shove train, uh, hence all of the infantry deployed. You might notice that there's scrubs like unequipped Bosco currently deployed. Um, the only thing that matters is the ability to shove. Titus is force deployed, so he goes ahead and warps Honkulani five squares, and then I'm going to have Mail go up and use her six range rescue to get Ruslan further up. We could theoretically have used a 5 ranger if we picked up uh, Vernon with Cygnus, but this way Cygnus is able to support Mail and, um, you know, unlock that C support, get a little bit of combat boost, which might be useful coming up. Anyway, Ruslan's going to once again prove that movement tools are incredibly valuable by repositioning Honkulani, giving her just enough to be able to get this rigged crit. It is a 67, uh, or 64 hit rate, uh, and a 34 crit rate, but she gets it. Uh, I did rig for it, but that's kind of what you do for one turns. Um, there, there are reliable, 100% reliable one turns, which are fun in their own way, but I don't think there's anything wrong with rigging a crit kill for a one turn. And that's to endgame, so join me on Monday for the reevaluation of the tier list.